Okay, so now we move into section 2.6, Introduction to Logarithms. Um, this lecture will pro cover problems, um, what is it, 1 through 35 more or less, in section 2.6, which is about logarithms. So, what is a logarithm, and what are we trying to do with logarithms? Well, let's look at an exponential. So, we'll put in a little graph here and we'll put in the graph of y equals 2 to the x and we know 2 to the 0 is 1 2 to the first is 2 2 squared is 1 2 3 4 2 cubed is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 2 to the minus 1 is 1 half 2 to the minus 2 is 1 fourth 1 eighth and so we get our exponential which as usual has this tail and then it comes up through x equals 0, y equals 1, and then further up. And so there's our graph of y equals 2 to the x. And this is our x-axis and y-axis. Great. So you can read off, if y is 4, then x is 2. But if y is 6, what is x? Right. It's somewhere between 2 and 3. Right, 2 squared is 4, 2 cubed is 8, so 6 is between 8 and 4. So whatever power you raise 2 to to get 6, uh, it's got to be between 2 and 3. And so what we call this number is log base 2 of 6. It's the power 2 is raised to to get 6. Or, another way to say about this is it's the solution, solution, starts with T here, to 2 to the x equals 6. If I want to solve this equation, right, what's x? x is log base 2 of 6. So this is the base, that's the thing that I'm raising it to, and then this is the outcome, that's the 6, and I want to know what's the power. So a logarithm is a power in a sense. Um, and it allows us to answer these questions of 2 to the what equals 6. Okay, so what does the graph of logarithm look like? Well, if we give ourselves a little space here, we can start by saying, well, here's x, here's y equals 2 to the x. So this is our exponential function. Usual suspects for drawing a graph, minus 3 up to 3. 2 to the minus 3 is 1 over 8. 2 to the minus 2 is 1 over 4. 1 over 2 squared. 2 to the minus 1 is 1 over 2. Anything to the 0 power, so 2 to the 0, that's 1. 2 to the first power is 2. 2 squared is 4. 2 cubed is 8. Great. What a logarithm does, so 2 to the x goes this way. What a logarithm does is go back this way. If this is x, then this is log base 2 of x. What power do I raise 2 to to get 8? That's 3. What do I raise 2 to to get 4? That's 2. What do I raise 2 to to get 2? That's 1. What do I raise 2 to to get 1 eighth? Well, 2 to the minus 3 is 1 eighth. 2 to the minus 2 is 1 fourth. So if I input 1 fourth into logarithm, I'm asking what power do I raise 2 to to get 1 fourth? That's minus 2. So, what is the graph, uh, what is the table for log base 2 of x equals y look like? Well, we take these numbers and we put them in the x column. And then we take the y values. Let's see, where am I? 1 half, 1, 2, 4, 8. We take these x values and we put them over here. 2 minus 1, 0, uh, 1, 2, 3. So log base 2 of 4 is 2, because 2 squared equals 4. Log base 2 of 8 is 3, because 2 cubed equals 8. So what do the graphs look like? If we look at the graph of y equals e to the x and y equals, uh, not e to the x, 2 to the x, and y equals um, log base 2 of x, well, 2, so for 1, then this is a 2, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 
and then 3 would be 8, which is up there, 1, 1 half, 1 fourth. So there's our usual construction of y equals 2 to the x. Now what about y equals log base 2 of x? Well, if we start at x equals 1, then that's a 0. If we start at x equals to 2, then log base 2 of 2 is 1. Right? And if we take log base 2 of 4, that's going to be 2. Right? And so what we're actually doing is, if we're very careful about drawing this line in here, this is the line y equals x, switching the x to a y, right? So going, making this x the y value and this x the x value, means just reflecting it about the line y equals x. So that the points that I'm getting, right, this point is 2, 4, this point here is 4, 2. So 2 squared is 4, uh, 2 squared is 4, log base 2 of 4 is 2. And then we'll have a half goes to minus 1, 1 fourth goes to minus 2, 1 eighth goes to minus 3, and this whole tail gets flipped down right along the x-axis like that. And so that's the graph of y equals log base 2 of x. Um, and just like the key point for each exponential function is that, if x equals 0, then y is 1. For a logarithm, no matter what the base is, so we'll usually say log base b of, a, uh, of 1 is always 0. And note that the domain of a log function is x greater than 0. The range is all y. And this is sort of the inverse of the domain and range of a exponential function. Right? The range of an exponential function is y greater than 0. But the range of an exponential function is the domain of the logarithm function. So if the range here is y greater than 0, then the domain of the logarithmic function is x greater than 0. And the range of the um, exponential function, no, the domain of the exponential function is the range of the log function. Uh, so the domain here is all x, which means the range there is all y. So the graphs are related in that way. They're reflections over the graph of y equals x. They're technically called inverse functions. Um, we're not going to get into that in any great detail. So um, what are logarithms trying to do? They answer a question. Algorithms answer the question, what do I have to raise this to? What power do I raise a number to to get another number? So, for example, if we want to know if 50 equals 10 to the x, what is x? What do I have to raise 10 to to get 50? And the answer is x equals log base 10 of 50. And if you put that into your calculator, you get uh, 1.698 dot 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 dot. Log base 10 is often written without the base there at all. So if you see log but without a little number there, that means base 10. So a logarithm is a power, and it answers the question, what do I have to raise the base to to get this particular number? So there's some very basic things here. Log base 10 of 1. What's that? Well, what do you raise 10 to to get 1? Well, anything to the 0 is equal to 1. So it's 0. Right. What's log base 10 of 1,000? Well, what do you have to raise 10 to to get 1,000? 3, right? 10 cubed equals 1,000. Right? 10 times 10 times 10. Um, 
What about log base 7 of 1 over 49? What do you have to raise 7 to to get 1 over 49? Well, it's in the denominator, so you know it has to be a negative exponent. And 49 is 7 squared, so that would be minus 2. 7 to the minus 2 is 1 over 49. So log 7 of 1 over 49 is minus 2. Um, now recall E is 2.7. Andrew Jackson, Andrew Jackson, 2, 8, dot, 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 dot. You don't need to know it out that far. 2.7 is enough. Um, but it's a number between 2 and 3. And we have a special symbol for log base E of x. It's ln of x, often pronounced ln of x. Um, it's ln because in French it's logarithm net grave. Um, and that's where the abbreviation come from, the natural logarithm. So e is just a number. It's like 10. So what power do I raise e to to get e? Well, e to the first equals e. Um, what's log of e to the minus 10? Well, what power do you raise e to to get the number e to the minus 10? Well, it just says right there, we raised it to the minus 10 power. Right? Log of 10 cubed. What's that? Well, let's actually make it say 10 to the fourth. We did 10 cubed above. So log without a base there, that means that it's 10. So what do you raise 10 to to get 10 to the fourth? Well, you raise it to the fourth power, because 10 to the fourth is 4. And this brings up a very useful fact about logarithms. What's in the natural logarithm of e to the x? Well, what do you raise e to to get e to the x? Well, it's whatever x is. And what do you raise 10 to? To get 10 to the x, well, that's x. And in general, log base b of b to the x equals x. A very useful thing. And what it does is it allows you to get what's in the exponent down out of the exponent, right? So if I had e squared, what's the log of that? It's 2. Um, and that will become very useful when we're trying to deal with compound interest and trying to find out how long does it take for something to, say, double in, to uh, double in amount in a particular savings account. Because if you remember that time in a compound interest formula is up in the exponent and we need to be able to get it back down out of the exponent. Um, and then two last examples. Suppose we want to know log base 6 of x equals 2. So what's x here? Well, 2 is the power that we raise 6 to to get x. So what is 6 squared? 36. So log base 6 of 36 is 2 because 6 squared is 36. Log base 14 of x equal to 1 over 14. What is x? x is minus 1, right? 14. Ugh. I got that backwards. Sorry about that. Let me redo that. Log base 14 of x equals minus 1. What is x? Well, 14 to the minus 1 gives me 1 over 14 because a negative exponent means put the, it down in the bottom and so log base 14 of 1 over 14 what power do you raise 14 to to get 1 over 14 that's my minus 1 so x is 1 over 14 so logarithms are powers they answer the question what do I have to raise the base to to get this other number and it's a sort of the powers and the graph of a logarithm function is like the graph of an exponential function, but just sort of flipped over the line y equals x. Technically, these are called inverse functions. Um, and there's a whole bunch of useful things that we 